We're not F Zero. You're F Zero. Shut up. Hello, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order. And if this is your first time here, I've already played the retro libraries of lots of uh, systems, including the Atari systems, ColecoVision, Intellivision, Odyssey 2, NES, and Sega Master System. So check those out uh, if you are interested. And I have three games today of Super Bases Loaded 3. I have Top Gear 3000 and Pinball Fantasies. And our first game today is Super Bases Loaded 3, Licensed to Steal. And it's the Major League Baseball Players Association. And we got a bunch of players there on the side. Yep, those are those guys. Back of the box. Introducing Super Bases Loaded 3, License to Steal. The most realistic and fun installment of the Jellico Baseball Series. Play a full series with your favorite Major League player. Through the Major League Baseball Players Association, you'll now have 700 Major League Baseball players to choose from, but not the teams, because it was weird back then. And with the tracking of tons of statistical data from Stats, Inc., one of the most respected sports statistics companies, you'll know just how your players perform over an entire season during one game. Wonderful. <gasps> Backup data was lost. Lost all data, oh no. He's gonna hurt his face. Let's do an exhibition here. Choose your team. Cleveland versus Toronto. The Spectrodome. Divide me. Greenwall Park. Spectre Dope. Let's go to Greenwall Park. Errors on feeling auto batting. Sure. Not Cleveland's best line of all time, but look at that. Kenny Lofton, Omar Vizquel, Carly Baega, Albert Bell, Eddie Murray, Sandy Alomar, Jim Tomey. Jim Tomey, that's right. Hall of Famer Jim Tomey hitting eighth. Did they have Manny Ramirez at the time? Like he hit behind Jim Tomey? It's crazy. Why is it playing that? Didn't I pick... Oh, okay, the new bolt. Okay, well, that's enough. That's enough. The pitcher looks like he doesn't want to be there. Safe? Oh, come on. Hey, Sandy Alomar's brother, Roberto. He's not problematic at all. Man, they're fast to first base. No, oh, I can't make that play to first. Just too fast. Damn it. It's their speed, that's gonna score some runs. No? Okay. He's a big man. A big man. Finally got him out of first, Jesus. Thank you. 
Matt Kenny laughed at me. Wow, what a hit. Drake. 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 Sit down, Kenny Lofton. Oh, I can't make it first as fast as they can. Now we'll get down for a hit. Albert Bell, let's crush it. Come on, Albert. Cork that bat. Give the graphics, uh, well, they're okay. We'll give them six and a half. Sound was all right. We'll give that a four and a half. Music had a little, you know, in game stadium music. We'll give that a four. Story, there is none. It's, you know, sports game. Controls, we'll give that a seven. Controls seemed okay. Funness, uh, we'll give that a four and a half. Does it hold my attention? A two and a half, and overall, it's going to get a four and a half. Just, you know, older sports games with old players are always hard to hold my attention when there's better, more modern versions to play. But this is a decent game, especially at the time. Let's see what's next. Our next game is Top Gear 3000. Uh, not not the one with Jeremy Clarkson. The Hyperspace Race from Chemco. And back of the box, set your way cool machine for the far out future. So there you sit in the year 3000, bored out of your hydrocelifus by the stupid rules of the galactic conglomerate, when all of a sudden some rich, whacked-out weirdos challenge you to an old-fashioned grudge race to the center of the galaxy in the highest-tech 30th century cars. Warg! Quicker than you could say MC squared, you're screaming around 48 tracks and 12 bizarre star systems blasting across planets no one's ever seen, and blowing your prize bucks on boosters, attractor beams, armor, and upgrades, whatever it takes to come out ahead or that two heads top year 3000 it's like totally alien like oh my god becky look at her butt once every millennium one of the greatest events in the galaxy begins it is a race a car race it starts at the further reaches of the galaxy and ends at the center for the winner, riches beyond belief, knowledge of the recent past from generation to generation. The identity of the organizer has been lost to the midst of time. Or maybe it has never been known. But even the youngest child knows on a certain date, all he has to do is look at the skies. For a son. Time has arrived. You were in the race. Pay for any of that. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to be like racing in space and stuff. Yeah. 
future racing on Earth in the places you've seen before. We're not F Zero, you're F Zero, shut up. Three laps. So we're gonna give those a six and a half. Sound was pretty good. We'll give that a six. Music was pretty dope. We'll give that an eight. I just said dope because I'm an old white guy. Uh, story, there really is nothing. I guess there actually kind of is a story in this. We'll give it a one. Controls, uh, nice. We'll give those a seven and a half. Funness, uh, I think that seven and a half does hold my attention. Uh, we'll give that a six and a half. And overall, we're gonna give this a seven and a half. Top Gear 3000. I liked it. I liked it better than the normal Top Gear games. It was fun. It had good music. Uh, controls were good. I just, with I seemed like I was always on Earth. Anyway, let's see what's next. Our next game is Pinball Fantasies. And the box art looks like this. We got some creepy freaking clown guy on it. That's scary. Back of the box. Consider yourself a pinball wizard? Not really, but think you have what it takes to flip the scoreboards. Do you have the skill to master high-speed flipper action? If so, Pinball Fantasy is right up your alley. Created to feel and play like timeless arcade machines, Pinball Fantasies is a pinball lover's dream. Or is it a fantasy? This is a better fake Terminator 2 music than the Terminator 2 game from LJN. Party Land. Nope, that's creepy. Speed Devils. Billion Dollar Game Show. Stones Bones. Sound effects are the small sounds you hear when the ball... That's right. This non-creepy game show version of the pinball game. Well, I didn't know what the left flipper button was. I was hoping it was the R and L buttons, but no! Still don't know what it is. What the hell is the... 
That's the left. Oh, it's the D pad. That's dumb. Okay. Doesn't have a great flipper feel, but you can pull off some things. It feels a bit laggy. Sounds just aren't really doing much for me here. It does not feel like I'm playing pinball. <laughs> yeah, flippers don't feel great. Sound effects are lacking. Graphics aren't. Terrific. The previous pinball game I had was better. I don't remember the name of that one, but it was better. Let's rate this. Uh, graphics are okay. We'll give those a four and a half. Sound, not feeling it there. Three, music, not feeling it there. Story, there really is none. Controls, they're okay. Just doesn't feel right like pinball. Uh, three and a half there. Funness, a uh, four, does it hold my attention? A four, just because it's pinball, I'll give it four and a half. And overall, it's going to get a four. That was Pinball Fantasies. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.